Okay, so this is the lever, which is the carbon rod again. Uh, this is the middle of the lever, suspended on the nail through the nut again, and on this side. Uh, so this is one distance from the fulcrum, and this is two distances from the fulcrum. I have a mass here, which is 10 grams, suspended. Okay, and on the other side, the lever is suspended or tied with a rubber band. I'm going to pull it down towards here and then let it drop and it will oscillate. So, like that. But as you can see, it tends to move to move to the left and to the right. Sometimes it only moves up and down. That's what we want. Something like this. So in some cases, uh, it, it moves perfectly up and down. And we're going to take those examples where it moves perfectly up and down. So that, this is going to be the one for the, for the one mass, two distances from the fulcrum. And then I have um, a 20 gram mass over here. This is a 20 gram. I think you can... Hold on. You can see it normally, doesn't want to focus, but it's 20 gram. Oh, whatever, it's 20 gram, twice the mass, so that I will, that will be hanging over here in the next test. One distance from the fulcrum, and I will do the same. Let it oscillate, and then I will record it with my, once again, my slow motion camera, my GoPro camera. And then I will compare them and we will see if they, well, whether or not they oscillate in the same, in the same way. Of course not, because uh, uh, the, the one mass, tw two distances from the fulcrum will always move slower, will oscillate slower than the other one. So, in case you don't believe me, this is the 10 gram, 10 point, right, 10, and the 20. Oh, 20.10, okay. All right, 20.05, close enough. 